except that nothing that the Creator has made seemingly is insignificant. This molecule has undergone a lot of karma. Karma is absolute results of absolute actions, absolutely. Simply means, again, that you get away with nothing. The result of what you do is karmic. The debt of karma is to pay for it from three to seven times over, depending on what system you're in. Dharma, D-H-A-R-M-A, we'll go to the board later because there's a lot to go to the board, is that once mentally you can understand what it takes physically or physical actions to bring about, you can set aside six physical actions or six lifetimes because you can mentally project yourself into what could be without having to go through it like a little child physically in order to enjoy or to learn from it. Dharma is mental awakening <clears throat> and physical absolvance. You don't have to go through something physically and mentally to project yourself into seeing how it will wind up physically anyway. So it's saying again that the higher you go in consciousness, the more mental you become. Physical attributes are on the bottom of the scale. Mental attributes are on the top of the scale because mental can always make physical, but physical cannot make mental. Our planet is physical. There are planets which are non physical. And beings who are invisible to us exist upon them because they are mental plane planets. Once you absorb pure energy or pure light, you need no physical planet. Once you have an endoskeleton and a hardcore finish, if you would, you need a physical planet. This is a physical planet. Because of that, it is made up literally of 192 basic elements on the physical plane. Behind any element is energy. Underneath the grid of any element are protons and electrons and a nucleus. But all protons and electrons and nucleus are simply but first and second stage manifestations of pure energy, which we call, when it reaches that stage, mind. Literally, we are in a matrix of pure mind by which little whirlpools and eddies interface and something is created, which we call physics. You cannot split an atom down to its infinite source because the infinite source of all atomic structures, whether they be microns or whatever subatomic particle you're talking about, comes into a pure energy state. And our planet, even though it seems solid to us, Ever would dissolute becomes something that just is called energy. So that's why when you split an atom or burst a planet or create a meteor or a comet, you are simply releasing the energy matrix that made that thing back to its original cause, the pure mind. Everything we've been able to see in the omniverse is either coming from pure mind and going bigger. For size means again, the further away from the thing you are or in the process of coming back from its huge size back to the pure energy that started. At the core of everything is pure mind. 